What's going on, Davinites? Tom Dav here with another episode of Dav Ranch. Um, I've been putting this video off for a while because I started a new job and everything. So what you're seeing right now is the shield controller um, uh, <laughs> installing or updating there, that's better. I've been blowing this video off, putting this video off for a while because I started a new job, job of course, so I'm no longer in Houston. So, uh, we're going to hopefully get through this and continue onward. Okay, so, of course, if your shield needs an update, let it update. So, I've had a, numerous people ask me how to set up a shield. Normally, you go through the whole settings and you go through and you pick out what you want. So, me, me being me, I always go to the search. Because if you're anything like me, I like to I would like to run Nintendo 64. So, essentially, just go over to your go over to your search bar and type in Nintendo Do space 64. Okay, boom. So the ones that I go off of are, I'm kind of a cheapskate when it comes down to my emulators. You can go ahead and pay the money and get what you want, but the first thing I always do is put M64 Plus FZ emulator. This is your Nintendo 64 emulator, okay? Then, of course, I like to run a standalone Super Nintendo emulator. You can always go for retro arts as well. Um, you can get this is the paid one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. You can pay the four four dollars to get everything, but it is what it is. Okay. Next up is the Dolphin emulator, which is the GameCube. If you want to run GameCube, me, I like GameCube because I like Super Smash Brothers Melee. Even though I know that there's the one on the Switch, but I like the originals. I grew up playing the originals. And then, of course, your PSP emulator. The PP, SS, PP. I always, whenever I read that, I always think of the Russian submachine gun. But, yeah. Get that. That's the one that you need to run your PSP. Uh, Drastic, which is your DS emulator. I'll show these in play. You want that if you had if you want to play Nintendo DS on here, it's pretty cool. Um, PS E P S X E, that's your PlayStation emulator. That's one that I always get. I think that one's a paid one. You gotta pay well no, that's the free ver free version. And then you go to Retro Arts. Of course I have that because I like Retro Arts. Okay. Redream is your Dreamcast emulator. So that's the one I download, play Dreamcast on. You can go other ones, you can get Raycast, I always grab that one too, because I like to have variety. Okay, let's continue. You can get some of these other ones, but you're going to have to pay for them, like so. This one shows, it's not really not that clear, but it's showing $4.99. Okay. Uh, this one is, again, the paid, paid for one. They're, now they're showing us repeats. Okay, that's how you go and get your emulators. Let's see, I don't think I see any updates on mine. Okay, and if there's any updates, you can. Explorer is your file system. It's kind of like a downloader. You can go in there and you can explore, you can delete stuff. Or if you have a female, I think it's a, yeah, female to female or whatever, male to male, whatever. Um, you can connect it to the back, connect it to your computer, and then run it like that. Dolphin emulator. Yabo Sinshiro 2 is the Sega Saturn emulator. I'm not a big fan of Yabo Sinshiro, but this is the other ones. Of course, I've got the Arcade Storm, the Coleco. You can Disney Plus. I do have Downloader. It's an older version, old version. Um... These are some of the ones that I've gotten free NES, free Nintendo, but Raycast, RetroArts. I did pay for some of these. 
that I paid for the gold one because I had some spare cash and so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and show you the emulation when it comes down to it. Uh, adds SD card, blah blah. Remind me later. I might have the money. So this is all of my collection. You can go find your collection on your own from various sites. Okay, one of my favorites, I know I'm moving through this pretty fast, one of my favorites is No Mercy. I like Mortal Kombat Trilogy, stuff like that. I always go and play the WCW versus NWO Revenge because that's cool with me. But I will run one for y'all just because I like y'all. <laughs> and please do like and subscribe, this would be the ideal time to put that in there. If you'd like to see more videos, I'm still going to do it. And You can do a fresh start. You can add cheats because here's the cool thing. You go to settings and you can go down here to cheats. And certain games do have cheats. Me, I don't really... I'm a cheat fan. But we'll just resume where I left off, which will probably be in a match. And... Uh, come on, focus. There you go. <laughs> Go Goldberg, right? Okay. That aside, I bailed out of that. Okay, so now you saw a brief how that one is. Now you go to your PSP emulator, which actually emulates the PSP pretty darn good. You can go me, I go to my recent, which I haven't played this in a while. So, EPSSE. Uh, me, all of my stuff is in my ROMs folder. So I guess I can go here, and the BA3 whatever is my hard drive. I'm running a 12 terabyte hard drive. Of course I'll run, go over here and go to my ROMs, and then I'll just run down here to PlayStation Portable. Where is it? Did I put it under Sony Play? Uh, I think I did. Uh, that's PlayStation. Uh, where did I go with it? Either way, I think... I, I've got to figure out what I did with it, but that now isn't the time. So you come in here, you can find what you need. That would be cool if I could find that. That's Sony PlayStation. What the heck did I do with my, my PlayStation stuff? Panasonic. Okay. Oh, shoot. There it is. I just found it. So... I've got a lot of stuff on here. Is this my... I'm just gonna grab. Yeah. Okay, in worst case, you can always look up in that top area and it'll say storage, BA, blah, it'll show you the file path. So there is all of my games and we'll fire one up just to show you how clean it looks. What's the one that I can start that will actually look that I feel that will be pretty cool to show that I know that doesn't that has a, that'll load up quickly that I wouldn't mind playing. Me, I've got all these games. Okay, let's see. Uh don't mind that noise. The music is pretty good. Uh yeah, let's grab Grand Theft Auto. Let me Good music, too. Um, I'm just going to grab... Uh, I'm just going to grab that. Okay, so it loads up, blah, blah, blah. I love Vice City, so... That was not supposed to happen like that. It will crash. These emulators are not perfect. So... That's a shame. Your Retro Arts Plus, that's what I'm using on mine. EPSXE. The DS. I always go to load new game. Give it a little bit of time. Worst case, it'll probably kick you out. Like I said, this isn't. I told you it was going to kick you out. Kick me out. These are not the most. These aren't the greatest emulators. Come on. You can go in there and change your options. Redream is the 
Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and grab Mortal Kombat. I like to go down here. I've got a lot of games on here. And I always like to try and show some of these. And if if you've seen me play these in the past, you'll under, you'll you will see the struggle is real at times, but other times the system works in like a dream because it, it works so good, but I've got a lot of stuff and it's still loading, so Come on. That's just the screen. At times, if you have too many games like me, it'll take a little bit to load. Come on. And then I'll... And then you just hit the home button a couple of times. You can use a PlayStation controller and everything. This thing probably needs an update because this is the first time in a while. Uh, MAME for Droid is the MAME stuff. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and show you some Dolphin emulation. I Me, mean, I've got a few games on here that hopefully they stayed because I might have deleted all that. Some of the stuff, these are just random games I have on here. I don't think I have the file path on this one, so this... Oh, it worked! I just loaded up a quick game. You can use the cheats. You'll see it kind of has a little bit of slowdown. I'm trying to skip through all the cutscenes and everything. I always check to see if my control pad's working. Who cares? Um, let's see what other stuff I can... It does take a little bit of time to load these games. This isn't native hardware. Look how good that looks. But the only reason why it's like that, you can go in there and change the thing. Oh, use the R button. Okay. And then, you know what? I'll stick the dog on you and watch the dog tear your tear, tear his nuts off. And then it kind of—you can see where it bogs down. Okay, I hit the home button to go back. Retro arts. Here we go. This is one of the ones I I do like. It'll probably tell me, oh yeah, warning missing assets online. Okay, I haven't. This thing must have auto updated. So, you can easily do the file explorer, and this thing is extracting stuff, so kind of, you can come over here, me, I've got the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, GameCube, it's a mixed bag, at times I do like to run that because, well, let's see, where is a good one, where's a good PlayStation game, because at times, Retro Arts is more um, reliable than some of these standalone emulators. Uh, where's one of my favorite games that everybody? I'm a Siphon Filter fan, so let's see. There it is, Siphon Filter, the first one. Run. Of course, you got to select your stuff. So I'll go with uh, I'll go with PSX, PCSX Rearmed. Run. It'll show it. Um, okay, come on. Hopefully it runs. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm like I'm aware that there's a black screen. So um, this is how um, camera had to. At times, I at one point I did have that as my ringtone, which kind of got annoying when the bill collectors called me, but. <laughs> When does the operation begin? Our intelligence within the FBI was. I've got an ID command from a check. And the controller's not set. So, there's some bugs in it. 
it needs to be re I need to mess with mine but that's the gist of it all when you when you set up your Google account you gotta put a credit it'll probably requ require you to put a credit card on there and if you feel that you wanna buy certain ones then go right ahead you, you can go your own way on this but this is just the way I'm rolling with it and yeah oh, okay so other than that that's the way you set up your shield so if y'all like to see more of my videos please do hit that like punch that subscribe button comment down below if you want to see anything that I didn't cover in this don't worry there'll probably be one where I I will go and show the majority of my stuff working again but we'll see how everything works out all right, Davinites, Tom Dav, signing off.